Hey guys, Olga Sobi here and welcome to a new acrylic pouring video. Today I want to create an ocean inspired painting. Um, I'm gonna go for traveling open cup technique using the oceany color palette. I got these suggestions from a few of you and I'm happy to give it a go today. So I want to create sort of a wave movement and light and delicate splashes but I also want to keep some negative space. I want to go for a, a color split base for my traveling open cup. And all of my colors are mixed with the floor troll and water. This is my favorite mixture when I want to work with traveling open cup technique and when I want to create those easy effortless cells. I am going to include, as always, all the details of my mixture in the description as well as the paint brands and supplies that I'm using. So please check it out. And if you're new to acrylic pouring and want to learn more about this fun art, you're most welcome on my channel. I share a lot of tutorials and how-tos here. And now, let's get started! All right, the base is done. My colors got overmixed here a little bit, but that's okay because it's still not going to be visible when I do the open cup travel. And now let's layer those colors in the open cup. I'm working with the smallest cookie cutter that I have. And first here I have the ultramarine blue. Next, let's add this bright aqua green um, maybe a touch of white some gold this is cobalt metallic blue I'm gonna add more ultramarine on top of it and just some violet for the contrast and let's Add more gold. Okay, now I'm gonna add a bit more white at the base of my open cup. And let's do the travel. So I think that the key when actually moving your open cup is not to lift it up high right away. You want to lift it just a little bit to release a little bit of color at the time because if you lift it high you're going to release all the paint at once and you're not going to have enough to get to the other side of your canvas or panel or whatever. So let's do it. See, this is exactly what I'm talking about. Not enough. <laughs> totally did it on purpose to show you. No, I didn't. I have a lot of gold in this area right here. I'm not sure why. Gold even wasn't the first color in my open cup. I guess sometimes it just happens this way. Okay. Next, I want to add just a few quick swipes towards the corners. Just to shape some of the design. And next, I'm gonna blow that paint. Oh, look at those pretty cells showing through the blue. I love that. I really want to get rid of this blob of gold. I mean, I love to have 
uh, bright sections that would make a great focal point, but this is just a little too much in my opinion. gold is totally not giving up you know like nope it's my territory not going anywhere <laughs> Just adding a few more drops here and there to sort of balance out this section. So when I blow just with my mouth, uh, it helps to move the paint a lot, uh, creates bigger petals of paint and blowing with a straw really helps to achieve more whimsical and you know just fine details so i actually kind of like to combine both Very oceany vibe. I love this outcome. Such a pretty cells right here. More whimsical, delicate details closer to the corners. And now let me show you some pretty, pretty details. All right, guys, so here it is all dry and finished. So I have finished it with a layer of resin. You can see this shiny glass-like finish. Totally love how it brings out the metallics and all the details. I'm gonna include the brand of resin that I'm using in the description of this video, so check it out. Well, you guys let me know how you like the outcome and check out these two playlists if you wanna see more acrylic pouring techniques, tutorials, and ideas. Thank you so much for watching. Happy pouring, stay creative. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.